Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking to them. Yeah. I mean, I am. Okay. Hey. Hey, everyone. Well, Cody's back from his wedding already, and he all that wedding cake went straight to him, didn't it? You know, I better not. Last time I sat in this chair, dude, that's all the comments just we're talking about. I know how large I look in this chair, dude. <laughs> it's my fault. I should be bigger. I need to. I need to. I'm going to just invest into a lazy boy for you guys. <laughs> so I got a nice big chair, and then it makes sense. Yeah. Even though it will be like a little, uh, what's the? It's like a Goldilocks. Yeah. Is that the, is that the girl who the the three bears? Yeah. It's like this porridge is too. This chair yeah, is yeah. too small. Yeah. So you'd have a big Papa Bear. Yeah. Chair. <laughs> I'm just picturing you just. <laughs> yeah. All the way back. Flattening out. Mm-hmm. It's getting Looking ejected. Right at the roof. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you couldn't tell already, everyone, we have the one and only Meat Canyon. We got Hunter in the building today. And by I'm, building, I mean ship. I'm back. He's back. Um, he's he's subbing in for Cody Man because Cody Man is uh, on the honeymoon, probably having making sweet sweet love right now. I don't know why. I, I, I you put think that, he's fucking right now? Yeah. Uh, let's look at the time. What time is it? Let's let's find out. I imagine Cody doesn't do a lot of like morning fucking. <laughs> yeah, probably not. No. I feel like he's kind of the guy who's like, he has it scheduled on a calendar. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. He's actually pretty honest about that. It's 6 p.m. I guess I have to <laughs> make love. Is that your Cody impression? Yeah. <laughs> it's 6 p.m. That's, yeah, that's, a, that's what Cody sounds like in my head. I guess it's time to go balls deep. What time is it in Tuscaloosa, Alabama? What a place! That's, that's my that hey now that's a fucking that's a honeymoon yeah. resort right yeah. there. Yeah, he's out in Tuscaloosa right now. Okay. Yeah, doing some mud with the boys. With the boys, yeah. Doing Down some there mudding. in the south with the boys. Yeah, doing some mud. Taking my bride, <laughs> my little bride. It is. It's one p.m. there right now. So he's, I don't think he's fucking. Mm. I don't think he's fucking. Do you do a lot of morning fuck? Morning? No way, man. Mm. No. Nah. I'm such a, are you a morning person? Absolutely. I'm not. So it's already like, I'm it's the only time I know how to make love is in the morning. <laughs> 4 a.m. Yeah, 4 a.m. <laughs> it's like a construction worker. Yeah. <laughs> I wake, I wake up, fucking alarm rings. It's go time. Yeah. 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 Babe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think, uh, nighttime overrated. I can see that. I'm borderline sleepy as it is. I want to be, I mean, I'm, agile in the morning yeah i hop out sometimes i set the alarm a little late so i feel like i'm late to something uh, so you're really up and you're you're getting at it yeah no i'm uh okay i'm i'm, I'm kind of i'm like midday or three in the morning three in the morning yeah why i just get spurts wake up yeah Is that yeah kind of thing or are you guys still up no like i'll i'll uh I don't know. I think my like my testosterone is like a has a lag or something. So I'll just wake up at three, like Do you chow down at three? I feel like you're a guy who doesn't like to chow down. Mm, no, I'll what? Come on now. I'll chow anytime. I think a lot of your fans just got very excited. Let's move on. Um yeah, I love Chinese food. Uh mm. <laughs> What's up guys? This is the TNT podcast. This is Free episode. If you want this episode ad free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our website. Holy fuck, Jamie! Can we get a clip of that deer hit? Get hit by that car? Let's live the flying stalkers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. I'm gay as fuck. I'm trying to get my arse eaten. The so-called flying stuff. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, did you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> no! 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 Please look at all the signs. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. We did get a uh, Korean barbecue last night. We did. We we had that was crazy. We um, if you're ever in L.A., go to the Prince 
They filmed the new girl there. They filmed, past tense. A um, little bit of trivia for you. But no, honestly, great fried chicken. Great everything, honestly. Mm. They had Korean-based food. Well, they had, uh, they had some great fried rice. Um, yeah, it was awesome. I'm still thinking about that meal. I, w- I genuinely woke up. I thought that was a screen cap for Goodfellas. <laughs> <laughs> Unironically, first, my eyes have been so fucked. That's good, fellas. For like maybe Gen Z, this is doesn't he? Fellas. Who's the guy in the middle? What's his name again? I think it's Nick Miller. I think that's his. Does he not kind of look like Joe Pesci right there? Yeah, he does. <laughs> he definitely does. The Just way right bigger like forehead. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's really. Yeah, yeah, the guy on the right's about ready to do a Chantix commercial. <laughs> I tried to stop smoking with Chantix. Remember those commercials right, right before Ray Liotta died? No. Can you don't remember that? that He's sitting never... there. He has eyeliner on. No. Nah, He's like makeup on. He looks Let's like a fucking it. scarecrow. He's like, I can't believe I stopped smoking with Chantix. Let's see it. Do you think the industry knew he was on his way out and they're like, we got to milk him for all he's worth? <clears throat> I think as soon as Goodfellas stopped, as soon as it was done recording, mm. on his way out. <laughs> really? No, he had some good roles after. What? what? Name two. Come on, he had um. Oh, when he was in Observe and Report. No, no, no. There was the other one. Uh, Chantix. No, 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 no. It was uh, you know, the one. He does have a sex scene with Anna Faris in Observe and Report. There you go. There you go. No, no, no. Like, let me let me look up his uh. Sex. Literally zero. He's also in Cocaine Bear. There you go. I can't believe it. Can, can I get some? Oh, I, I, I just want to hear his voice. Look at the. Let me look at the. He eye does lines. have eyeliner. This is. Oh, how, how disrespectful. Wait, wait, wait. To quit. When you try to quit smoking, with or without Chantix, you may have nicotine withdrawal symptoms. Patch, they didn't work for me. I didn't think anything was going to work for me until I tried Chantix. Chantix, along with support, helps you quit I smoking. I tried patches. Chantix reduced it didn't my urge work. to smoke. What I, I tried locking myself quit. in my basement for four when you months. Try to quit, it didn't work. It, the only thing that worked for me was chanting. What do you have against Ray Liotta? <laughs> I have nothing. I don't fucking care about Ray Liotta. The dead little son of a bitch. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what? What, dude? It's not disrespectful, dude. He's dead. He doesn't even know I'm talking about him. <laughs> what? There's gonna be like two guys with like Goodfellow posters in their room. They're gonna be like, "This is this is fucked up, bro." Before he passed, he did Blackbird. He was good in that. I don't even think I've seen that. It was an Apple TV series. <laughs> oh, hey, you know it's Apple good. TV. Well, no, okay, back Look up. Look at him, dude. He was also in The Iceman. That was like a fun movie. Remembering Ray Liotta. No, here's The what, man who sold more Chantix than any other man Here's what I think ever. is fucked, is that commercial, everything about it is so sad. Like, they just show him on a movie set that <laughs> yeah. for a non-existent movie. <laughs> for a movie that's not there. And then he's like, I can't stop smoking. I and can't believe how hard it is to quit smoking. They make they him look like such Chantix. an addict. I couldn't stop. It looks like a, it looks like he's like auditioning for the Joker. That's what it looks like. Who is he telling to stop there? <laughs> what movie set is he on? I snuck onto Christopher Nolan's set to record this Chantix commercial. Hey Ray, now for for this <laughs> scene, we want you to you know pretend to do what you used to do. Ray, stop smoking! Yeah. Oh God, damn! It, I'm sorry. I, I, the, the Chantix isn't helping as much as I thought it would. <laughs> Jesus it's Christ. It's always weird dude. these medical commercials when they sit there and they like show them eating like an Italian dinner. Yeah. You know they they had to throw that in cuz it's like cuz it's like uh oh he was in Goodfellas. Yeah. Make make it seem like it's a mob thing. It'd be so cute if we had him serve <laughs> we serve some pasta carbonara right at the end of the at the trailer. It would feel just so Look at that. Yo, they brand him as an yeah, ex smoker. How fucking rude is actor, this? Actor, hey, actor, father, ex smoker. Chantix. Also, I like how they have, like, it's like, this is also my signature. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this fucking. <gasps> Mom, I can't believe it. W- what happened? I was in L.A. and I, guess who I met? <laughs> Ray Liotta. You know what? That would be exciting if it was 1992. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> I saw him on the Chantix commercial set. <gasps> Ray Liotta? The Chantix guy? Nah, man. I'm pushing back, dude. I'd, I'd be hyped to meet Ray Liotta. I mean, I would, too, because he was in Goodfellas, you know? No, I would know him from He's like, did you see my latest aces. picture? I'm like, come on, Ray. I would know him from Smoking Aces. 
Smoking Aces. <laughs> God, I haven't heard that movie name in so That's long. That's where I would know him from. <laughs> Fucking Smoking Aces, dude. You know, it's like the action casino movie from 2006. <laughs> I mean, look at all of these movies. What is that? Wait, hold on. Scroll up a little bit. Ed Sheeran, what? Come on, Sin City? One of my favorite things to listening to when I'm taking Chantix and putting it in my body is Ed Sheeran. Shape of You is my favorite song of all time. I kind of going. I'm going into like a Stanley. Stanley. Yeah. Dearest readers, well, are I both, use Chantix. They're both dead. Can, can we, it's true. Can you pull up that music video that Ray Liotta's in? Who do you think? Honestly, let me ask you this question. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. You can always ask me a question. If, if uh, Cash is here, Ray Liotta, well, Ray Liotta's on his deathbed. Yeah. You know, he's like, oh, God, what I wouldn't do for a camel crush. Yeah. Right? Next room next room over, Stan Lee is also on his deathbed. Mm-hmm. Who would win that fight? Meaning, like, who's going to outlast? No, no, no. Who, in a fist fight, who would win? Oh, Ray. Stan Lee or Ray? You think Ray, Ray would take Stan? Yeah. Come on, man. You remember Stan? The only thing that's stopping Stan Lee is age. The thing that's stopping Ray is his horrible, horrible addiction to cigarettes. His I'm- body is weaker than Stan's. Stan, I mean, has been around the block a lot. Dearest reader, I'm going to destroy you. Okay. So he says. And he goes over to Ray Liotta while Ray Liotta's like laying in his bed. He just starts fucking strangling him. <laughs> Go to sleep, Ray. <laughs> I don't want to sleep, Stan. I want to take my Chantix. Come with me. Yeah, we're going together. <laughs> we're going together, Ray. You want Chantix, Ray? You just want Chantix here? I'll give you. What's his last Chantix. one? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's your last right in his mouth, chance. right in his fucking mouth. <laughs> there you go. Good night. Go to sleep. I'm writing a new comic book right now, Ray. Bro, I want to... Chantix, see- man. Hey, guys, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events listed every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. With artists like Taylor Swift, SZA, Arctic Monkeys, and Ed Sheeran on tour, you're not going to want to miss out, especially with Ed Sheeran on tour. I mean, come on. They always want to make sure that you are getting a good deal, so when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green means good. Red means bad. Um, I use SeatGeek all the time. You know Cody does. Uh, We all use SeatGeek here uh, very often to buy tickets for shows. Matter of fact, let's see what we got going on right now. Anyone want to take a guess what's happening down there in L.A.? Ed Sheeran, Sean Mendes, Sean Sheeran, Sean Sheer Redemption. You're all wrong. We have the Thunder at Lakers tonight in the Crypto.com Arena, uh, which is great for Ryan. Uh, he should get a ticket and watch the Thunder get clapped. Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. And you know we came through for you guys if you're worried about ticket pricing. Well, don't, because if you use the code TMG, you'll get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with the promo code TMG. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. I want to see what this music video is. Ed Sheeran and what is that? Rudimental. Rudimental bloodstream. But I just want to see what Ray Liotta has to do <laughs> with this. How did they get Ray Liotta? He must be so busy. <laughs> well, he doesn't have much to do now. He's dead now, so he doesn't have anything to do. Yeah, sorry. God, it looks like he's been smoking. Yeah, definitely leave the music off for this. I'm just, you know. I didn't know that Ed Sheeran was the most listened to person on Spotify. I didn't know that either. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, not really. I mean, it's... You don't think so? I'm trying to think about anybody who it's like, I mean, it's like, Ed Sheeran has like that. Uh, Ed Sheeran has like that car commercial kind of music, but not enough that, to where it's like, oh, I'm like a diehard Ed Sheeran. I'm a I'm a Sheeran head. Yeah, you know. But that's why I think he he's listened to so much. This is a sad music video without music. It looks like it really looks like this is the last 48 hours of Ray Liotta's yeah. life. Yeah, doesn't it look at him like yes. hobbling around? God, thank God I got this house in '93. That's all. That's all I'm seeing here. Is it why? This, why is, this is so sad. <laughs> God <laughs> damn! This industry did him so bad after Goodfellas. They're like, you're a fucking oh, he's sad double loser he's now, double right? fisting a whiskey glass, dude, like a <laughs> child. Oh God, it's insane to think that somewhere on this planet, his ghost is haunting somebody. Yeah, well, I think you're. Have next. you thought about that? Getting haunted by Ray Liotta's ghost. 
I think I'd be fine. I'm I have nothing but respect for him. I think if he haunts you, he's gonna be fucking your shit up, dude. I told him I liked good fellas. That ain't enough, man. That's enough. After that, for all his the career, slander, that was enough. After all the slander you just fucking put out on If could he honestly, if he was sitting there, he's like, Well, what did you see? I don't know. Did you see Smooth Detective? No, but I saw Smoking Aces, Ray, and I loved you in that, and I loved you in Blackbird. Yeah, the, the four minutes of screen time you had was awesome. Yeah, Smoking Aces. I love the one scene you did in Smoking Aces. I what? like that. He's sexy having a threesome now. Oh, all right, well, all right, get it, Ray. <laughs> I like how Ed Sheeran's just like, "This is what I want for my music video." People are hard fucking listening to me. <laughs> Pete, I bet you anything. People don't wear condoms when they listen to my music while having sex. Man, nutting to Ed Sheeran is a crazy vibe. <laughs> oh man, can you can you imagine climaxing to Shape of You? Can you imagine that? And then I actually be able to like hold your head up with pride after yeah. that. The bond of the smoking the cut the bond of the show. You just come, yeah, yeah, I did. I move over, baby. I need to put on my chantix. Damn, bro, he's having an argument during a threesome. I want to take up smoking just so I can use chantix and review it. It's so fucked up that they would make Ray Liotta cosplay as Robert Downey before the fucking fallout for a music video, dude. Is he riding a horse in his house? Yeah. God, I like how they're like, Ray, we don't want you to talk. We're just going to like literally record you at your house for 25 minutes. Ray, you know how like, you're a- <laughs> Where am I? You're a sad drunk in private. <laughs> we would like you to be that on camera. I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I accept the role. Hey, not really a role. We're just going to show up for 20 minutes at your house, so. God. I accept. What's the character's name? Ed Sheeran. I do feel like, and honestly, this is probably bad to say. Yo, what was that shot? Sorry. You can have that thought. I'm really drawn into the visuals right now. Look at this. Wait for it. He's like, ah! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 ah! Now, Ray, if you could just. <laughs> Ray, Ray Liotta three minutes after Jane takes. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that's, that's what it looks like there. Ah! Now, Ray, if you could just, just have... Just give him the cigarette. Yeah, if you could just have the Chantix um, withdrawal real quick. Would you do that challenge with me? Would you take up smoking just to try Chantix? <laughs> yeah, sure. That's, that's, some, that's some YouTuber shit right there, yeah. isn't it? We got addicted to analog I smoked Camel Crush cigarettes <laughs> every day. I, yeah, I smoked a pack of Camel Crush every day so I could review Chantix, honestly. And here's what I find. Yeah, this stuff is awesome. It, does, it works. Yeah. It tastes amazing. <laughs> Shout out to Chantix. Smash that like. <laughs> Sub. S Sub Super to me. chat. Super chat me so I can continue to buy more Chantix. Yeah, these are not cheap. Bro, <clears throat> I just want to finish this out. Sorry, I'm being an iPad kid right now. Oh, he's still screaming. <laughs> 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 now, Ray, if we took the Chantix away, how long do you think you could scream for? If you were going to make a movie and you knew that Ray Liotta was going to be your main actor, what would that movie be? That's such a good question. I think that I would try to have him be, uh, he'd be a dentist. Hmm. Why a dentist? It would be a horror film where it's him, Ray Liotta's a dentist, and uh, he comes in and he's just like torturing people the whole time. Okay. And it's like him like fucking digging into your tooth. Oh, sorry, did I go too far down? How about this? How about um, he's a like a, a serial killer plumber? You know, I think that was him probably for just a period in his life <laughs> before smoking aces came into his life. I'm here to fix your pipes. Just showing crack, <laughs> and turns around and fuck. Yeah, wow. And turns around with all that eyeliner on. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to die. Today. I, no, you know what? I, I want that framed and put in my house. I mean, look at that. <laughs> That's a man. You know what's fucked up too is that is like probably coming from a very real pay place. Yeah, Ray Liotta probably gave his like his absolute best performance, and they just there's an Ed Sheeran. We can't even listen to it. There's an Ed Sheeran song playing over the top of this. That's what the humor that we're really missing here is that through all of this, there's fucking. I don't. I know you want to you put it in a topic. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Yeah. Ray, if you could just uh Hey Ray, Ed really loved your performance. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie. Yeah. Ray I, I imagine Ray's on a very personal basis with Ed Sheeran. He's just like, Eddie, what'd you think of the performance? 
I thought it was good. <laughs> yeah, I was just picturing him singing. I thought it was good, Ray. <laughs> what does Ed Sheeran even? He sounds like that, doesn't he? Yeah, let's let's pull up an interview. What does what does Eddie sound like? We gotta we gotta stop bagging on Ray Liotta. It cannot be twenty minutes of Ray Liotta sucks. <laughs> What's what? Hey, no one said he sucks, dude. Oh yeah, no, no. You just no. said a bunch of horrible. Things. I just I just thir- thoroughly enjoy his Chantix commercials. <laughs> Not enough people give him love for his Chantix commercials. How does, how does Mr. It, it better be a thick accent. With pretty much no one there, and we lit loads of candles, and it was like the middle lit of January. Lit loads of candles, and really pretty much no one outside. there. It's pretty much no one there, and it was the opening of Ray Liotta's newest movie, so we were able to talk to him <laughs> and get him for the music video. <laughs> All right, that's the last Ray Liotta thing, I promise. Um, we got to leave Ray alone. Leave Ray alone. Rest in peace, King. Yeah. Sorry, I was also stuck on the fact that Ed Sheeran, I don't know what I was expecting, but he just sounds like a default Love Island fucking participant. I've never, I still, I've never seen Love Island. Um, here's the show. Like, actually, like, obviously, like, it's really, like, it's obviously. So it's any Guy Ritchie movie? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Lock, stock, and two smoking barrels. Those people are supposed to be British? <clears throat> yeah. Why are they not uh, are they not ugly enough? <laughs> they're not they're not pale enough. I imagine every person in Britain is just desaturated and they're just all like hey, there's never any sun. Where did the sun go? Yeah, well no, they all take the short flights to like Ibiza in Spain. You going to play the new Hogwarts game? Uh n- no, cuz I don't care about Harry Potter. Are you? I, I probably hey, I'll probably be dipping in. You're not really a gamer though. No, but I, can, I just want to dip in, dude. I want to fly around. Do, 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 do. Yep. Yeah. Is it like an open world? Yeah. Oh, what the hell is this? I got you a present. A present? <laughs> what? Why? What is this? Oh, oh here. more food hey. for Hunter. Hey, what is this bit, dude? I, oh. I want to go on record. I did not ask for any of this. This is fucked up. Oh, Hunter or didn't order food? <laughs> okay. What a what a. There's a lot of unflattering bending over. I don't put the camera somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ! He's like zooming in. <laughs> that's a lot of wrist movement over there. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, now this is the McDonald's I like. Oh, okay. <laughs> actually, there's actually food in there. I'm not gonna eat that, but I will open this up and. Is this a nice Coca-Cola over here? <laughs> okay. If the camera's still on me, dude, I'm be fucking pissed. <laughs> what what could you possibly be moving the lens for that much? Wait, wait, here we go. Hi, I'm Hunter from Meat Canyon. Are you, the 12 step am program. I, am I a Navajo? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> kind of fucking accent are you doing for me, dude? Uh, I love to stuff my big gullet with Jack Daniels until I found the twelve step program. It's true. I can't feel my foot a lot of the time because <laughs> the diabetes that I have. <laughs> and then they're gonna in your commercial. They're just gonna be having you draw pictures <laughs> with yeah. no ink in the pen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whenever I started the twelve step program, it was a lost cause. I actually, I'm gonna just start taking Chantix to help with my alcoholism. Yeah. Just to see maybe if it doubles yeah, It up. works. Oh, my God. That's crazy. <laughs> Ray was right. Mm. You need some help with that? Maybe. Yeah, you want to help me out a little bit? Yeah, I guess. Why don't you keep, take a couple of swigs of that? Of this? Yeah. No. I've never seen you drink regular Coke. Drink Just drink a little bit of the regular Coke. How is it going to... It cannot hurt you that bad. <sighs> just take a fucking drink of it, dude. What is the problem? Because it's torturing you, I don't want to do it. <laughs> God, this fucking guy. It's either you take off those shoes and you show me your feet, or you- <laughs> Hunter wants to see my feet so bad, dude. You know when you're when you're gonna. Why the co- fuck are you putting the coke over there? <laughs> I I just I got the thing off. Give it, bring it back over here. You see, you see, you see what's going on here. Well, this is a whole bit. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of it. You know. <laughs> there you go. Move it over. Move it over. Well, take some drinks of it because it's like, what am I going to put? Half a shot in there? Just get it in there. There you go. Look at him. Ew, yucky. It's sugar. I hate that. Mm -mm, I don't like that anymore. Do an an impression of what you think I sound like, actually. (laughs) 
Dude, it's a huge cup. <laughs> God, I, I, all I hear in the back is just, Jesus. <laughs> Fuck, dude. You know what? There better be some viewers who are just like, man, that was like nothing. Yeah. There there, there will be. There will be. Two ounces of vodka yeah. video. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the fucking Dude. focus you had shaking that in was crazy. You were talking all more with the <laughs> Hey, go, what were you talking about? <laughs> that was like a fucking Oh man, this is your iPad right here. This is hey, this is daddy's iPad. <laughs> yeah. mm. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it in my lap. <laughs> just have it be nice and close. Hello, everyone. We want to take another quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, DoorDash. That essay you definitely started weeks before the deadline and not the night before might be easier with some late-night snacks. DoorDash can help you get snacks and energy drinks you need to get you through that all-nighter, right? And listen, for all my students out there, get the back-to-school savings you really want and get unlimited free DoorDash delivery with DashPass. It's just $4.99 a month for students. It has no delivery fees, exclusive items, and more than 25,000 members-only offers nationwide. DashPass by DoorDash has everything you need to make this semester more memorable. DashPass for students gets you delivery in an hour or less, so you can satisfy those spur-of-the-moment cravings or save even more with 5% DoorDash credits back on pickup orders. DashPass for students gives you access to more than just your favorite restaurants, saving you grocery runs, convenience store trips, and they even have your back with gift shopping. Hunter's a big guy. He loves using DoorDash um, to order his favorite foods. That's not uh, something I would say. That's actually just in the copy. Uh, (laughs) uh, Hunter would also say that DoorDash has a great selection of all his favorite foods because he loves to eat. Again, this is the copy, not me. Um, You can save even more with an annual membership, uh, less than $50 a year for unlimited uh, zero dollar delivery fees for a limited time our listeners can get 50 percent off which is up to a 20 dollar value and no delivery fees when you download the doordash app and enter the code tmg23 that's 50 percent off up to a 20 dollar value and no delivery fees when you download the doordash app in the app store and enter the code tmg23 don't forget that's code tmg23 for 50 percent off up to a 20 dollar value and no delivery fees doordash subject to change terms apply what honestly try do an impression of me no act like honestly you're see you're, you're going into like a weird no no i'm his face you look like you're gonna cry no, no. just i'm think i'm thinking how of like something you would say to me <laughs> here's my impression of you yeah okay were you saying something stupid and vulnerable all right what the fuck were you saying that was stupid and vulnerable dude i don't know just anytime i'm vulnerable with you you just go like what have you ever been vulnerable with me? Oh, okay. I'll be vulnerable with you right now. Yeah. Tell me just a little something. Oh, what? Because you have to talk about your troubled childhood? Dude, have we not heard that before? <laughs> See? See? He does it. He does it. He does it. <laughs> it was a good impression. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was good. Really? Uh, uh-oh. Now Dad's Dad started drinking. <laughs> uh-oh. Now I got to go in my room. <laughs> See, you know what I hate about this fucking chair is I look like a giant. I'm already big enough. And, like, look at my legs, dude. Look at these thighs pressed together. You look cute, man. Dude, no. This is bullshit. (laughs) This is fucked up. Walking on the set with McDonald's bads, dude, really? How long have you guys planned this? Um, This is bullshit. Ovi, how long did you plan this bit? A couple days. Yeah, it was actually Ovi's idea. Well, I just respect the thought, dude. Yeah, I was hysterical. I'm like, yeah, do that. You, you want me to be vulnerable with you? I'm yeah, please, you compliment right now. I would like, I think not only would I like that, I think your audience would like that. <clears throat> you know Could you love? come off as a very disgenuine person? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <clears throat> no, I was actually saying to Lena last night that I love hanging out with you. Wow. Because what I enjoy the most is you mm. consume so much art and I feel like you're just a wonderful, creative person to be around because if anyone has ideas you just have like this what feels like an infinite well to be like oh man have you looked at this or that kind of reminds me of this and i just feel like you're a a creative purist in that way you can always let people um you can always offer something that enables people like achieve a vision and i think that's Mm. a really 
awesome, unique quality, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. Is that you being... That just seems like a compliment to me. Yeah. I was saying, I was going to pay you a compliment. Oh, I thought that this is you saying you're trying to be... Vul- oh, oh sorry, it? What was sorry. the objective? I did, I did what say that. Doing? I did say that. I yeah. Did. You want me to be vulnerable with you? Yeah. Okay. Like that... Yeah. Okay. Um, I think uh, you're a very funny person. And this is just a compliment to me again. I'm talking be vulnerable. I'm about to. I'm, okay. I'm about to. Okay. So because I think you're a very funny person, mm. sometimes I feel insecure around you. Uh, and so I consciously make sure I'm not trying to compete with you as a person. Um, Are you trying to say that you hold back your performances whenever I'm on this podcast? May, may, not even just on the podcast. I think sometimes when we record, I don't, uh, maybe sometimes I don't give it 100%. Why don't you give it 100%, dude? This is your show. People yeah. are showing up for you to be at 100 <clears throat> at all times. But I just have a lot of respect for you. Sometimes I think, you know what? I'm going to let Hunter take the wheel. Cause I think you know what, dude? That's very vulnerable of you. Thank you for telling me. Yeah. Okay. You want to try? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I don't think I will. Right, no, you no, know no. what we I can, actually we can, will We can do. make sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make sure you get very vulnerable. One second. You know yeah. what, man? I like all this emotional talk, dude. Do you? I do. I watch some of your guys' stuff, and I think to myself, I wish these guys were more emotional. Yeah, I want to hear the real side of things sometimes. Sure, we- I like when people break down and they get a little little real. Yeah, let's get real then. What am I trying to get real about? Yeah, this is a new segment. What are you trying to get real about? That's an interesting segment. Also, I like how did you just put that up the Hogwarts screen cap? Yeah, Luke is very good at this now. Like he's so good at just uh, using the screen to punch jokes and like mm. shit on us almost sometimes. It's very funny. Well. <clears throat> like for example anytime me and cody get a little too cocky he just pulls up the walkman lyrics and we go all right luke how about you fuck off with that that was like one of the first things i ever said to you <laughs> yeah you that was yeah you're talking about sophia sophia because right, i like that yeah I started singing it and he was like stop it yeah and i was like okay yeah <laughs> walkman how does that go hey there's a sophia deal there look at that <laughs> luke, Where, can, just, just say some of the lyrics off that um just read it also, when did this song even come out? Is this a new song? No, this is old. Okay. Yeah. Dude, I'm sorry I don't know his fucking discography of yeah. Walkman. Shorty jumping in the front row. Got her face on my wood like a totem pole. God damn. That's good. Yeah. Um, was it? Uh, my lid's low from the blunt smoke. Feeling R&B holding blue notes. Uh, people didn't get that line. That that line actually is something that many people say. What the fuck did you mean by that? Bully only busted down with a fucking bus pass, bitch. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Here's this one's for Ray Liotta smacking your girlie's box. She's a camel pack. <laughs> <laughs> She's a chantix. She's a chantix. That's the updated one. Yeah. <laughs> Chewing your girl's box. She's a chantix. Chewing your girl's box like it's a pack of chantix gum. <laughs> Available to every Walgreens. <laughs> <laughs> just turns into an advert immediately. <laughs> just then, Dan, that'd be so good. <laughs> Man, imagine that, though, dude. Ray Liotta going down on you, chewing on your Chantix piece. Yeah. Like a piece of gum, going at it like a fruit stripe gum. <laughs> Holy the shit. flavor. I've lost the flavor already. It's true what they say. I just felt half the earth go dry when you said that. Dry it up, dude. Yeah. Yeah, what do you want to get real about? I have one song on the internet. Do you actually? I do. I've never told anybody. I'm not going to tell you guys. All right, Luke, do your thing. All right, Luke, do your thing. But it's it's on there, and it's me as a metal vocalist when I was 19. Huh? And it's it exists. It's out there. Wow. Luke, I'm working on it. Yeah, I'm working on it. CSI, this Jarvis. (laughs) Jarvis, do your thing. Can we get um, (laughs) Hunter singing at 19, please? <clears throat> you know, I had a lot of people compliment me last time of my journey singing. Yeah. No, you got a great voice. I do. I I would be a liar if I stood, st- stood here and s- sat here and said, where am I? In space? I feel like I, no, I feel like I just had a stroke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually turning into Porky Pig, which is the worst part of my life. <laughs> yeah, it's the worst thing ever. Dude, I thought you were going to get real with me. I don't really know what to get real about. I feel like I'm a very transparent person. You are. What would you I like? To, me I told to get you real last night it? that uh, about the. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
That was super transparent of you. I think so. Yeah. Should we re- do you want to relive that for the viewers? <clears throat> well, all right. We were having a discussion about Korean barbecue. Yeah, over Korean barbecue. Right. Uh we were talking about as a young male, your first experiences with your own cum. And Hunter described to us he he casually says, you know, you've nutted in your hand before and you've like, you know. Every guy, and this is a true thing, doesn't matter. If people are going to be like, no, bullshit. Every guy has done that thing where, you know, like the Scholastic Book Fair, this doesn't correlate. At the Scholastic Book Fair, where you'd get like those little tubes of like slime, and you're like, whoa, this is crazy. Yeah. Every guy has done that with the oyster in their hand. With his web. Yes. Yeah. And you sit there and you play with it. And that's whenever I thought to myself, that's whenever I found that I didn't, I stopped believing in God that day. Do you know why? Because I sat there and I was playing with it. I did the most chimp like thing I've ever done in my life where I string it out and I very fascinated. And then I bent my hand down. I did. And I looked around like that and I smelt it and it was, but it was that look around. I was like, that was the closest I've ever been to being an ape. Yeah. And I was like, that proves evolution right there. I thought that was an interesting point in life for you to be- become atheist. <laughs> Fuck you, <Yeah>. God. <laughs> just holding your fucking... <laughs> Actually, I don't believe now. <laughs> yeah, holding your cum in Yeah, your just hand. like my soupy cum in my A hand. Ball of nut, and you're like, there's no way you're real. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt this. <laughs> yeah, every, every guy is going to be like, yeah, definitely. Because I think every guy smelt it, and then some people have tasted it. I have not tasted it. Yeah. I've re- I've refused to taste my own make. Yeah, as they say. Yeah, Ryan, yeah. have you ever tasted it? No. I've yeah, heard okay, some buddy. insane. St- now I'm just recalling insane All right, stories, bro. Oh wow. Oh what? wow. Oh wow. What is this even from? A live stream you did. All right. Well, we don't have to play that. <laughs> it's me. Just it's just me working on a Scooby Doo cartoon, dude. It's nothing to see. <clears throat> 19 years young, though. Look at that. Hello, everyone. We want to take another quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, DraftKings. Are you ready for the biggest Sunday in sports? DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 57, has all the Super Bowl action you need. New customers can bet just $5 and get 200 in free bets instantly. Plus, all customers can get in on the Super Bowl 57 excitement with DraftKings Happy Hour Super Boosts. Check the DraftKings Sportsbook app every day between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, or 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to see what prop bet will be boosted. If you would allow me to indulge in my Super Bowl 57 pick, I think on the, on the day of the big game, I think someone is going to win. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code TMG. New customers can bet $5 on Super Bowl 57 and get 200 in free bets instantly. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code TMG. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. Void in Ohio. <laughs> See show notes for more details. I played a lot of shows in Kansas City. Did you actually? Mm-hmm. Old, the only places you could get like metal shows when you're starting off was like old strip clubs. No. So strip clubs on weekends would, or on weekends, on like Thursdays and Tuesdays, Yeah, you could play shows there. There wasn't like a, um, what do they call them? What's the fucking, like an American Legion type venue? Yeah, like a VFW kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there probably was, but the only ones we ever got was strip clubs. Got it. I just know that uh, VFW places are like, that's where... I did a lot of my early musical performances, and I felt really, yeah. American Legions always seem to be very welcoming to uh, young kids making music. That's nice. Yeah, I need, yeah, I need to go support the veterans at the American Legion. <clears throat> I don't think we were supporting the veterans because they charged us literally next to no money to put on the show. So, <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, let's shall we have a listen? No, we really shouldn't, because also this is from a live thing so it's like this isn't the probably the best product to show be vulnerable huh come on be vulnerable <laughs> okay dude yeah get real with us easy back there bro <laughs> people tell me it's like my my ghost is telling me to be vulnerable <laughs> be vulnerable hey i'm you know i'm over here telling you that uh 
I, I get insecure around you at times and you don't even play us your fucking metal song? <clears throat> no. <laughs> All right, fair, fair, fair. I, I hear you though on actually this I'm jumping back a point, but I hear you on it's, Ray Liotta? No. I mean, I heard you on Ray Liotta. We definitely heard you for 20 minutes on Ray Liotta. I don't want to say, don't don't say we heard you. This was a combined effort uh, of talking about Ray Liotta. Uh, I think we could do percentages. Okay. We mostly heard you on Ray Liotta. Okay. <laughs> All right, dude. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I could talk about. I wish I just had a Ray Liotta podcast. I would talk about Ray Liotta all fucking day. If okay. I could. Okay. I would. The Ray Liotta. Yeah, because he's done enough films that you could actually make one. He's done films. Yeah. Mm. Smoking Ace. That would actually be a great podcast. Going through every Ray Liotta film that no one's seen. Mm. I'm not gonna get back and we're venturing back into Ray Liotta. I'm not gonna do that. But yeah. I'm saying there's that dude on Reddit who did like a a mega thread where he watched a hundred Nick Cage movies. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah, he rated them all. Mm. It's actually kind of um, it's a sweet thread because he didn't give like verbose reviews. He tried to he's like I try to keep it concise. I want you to be able to browse all 100. And he just rated them all out of 10 and gave you like a two line like synopsis slash review. And so if you actually wanted to engage more than fucking five of them, it's a pretty good index to be like, all right, maybe I'll check that one out. Mm. Yeah, God bless that man. Yeah, hundred hours. Or what, what would that be? Average movie's like two hours. Yeah, at least one hundred fifty hours of time. It's a lot of waste of time. Yeah, <laughs> you'll never yeah. get back. Hey, motherfucker! You watched Amadeus four times three hey. days ago. Hey, love Amadeus. I had no power in my house. Yeah, how was that? I had no power in my house. It was cold. Yeah, it was very cold. No power in my house, so I downloaded Amadeus. Was the storm? Amadeus is like about three and a half hour long film. And I did watch it four times. I guess I love that movie. And with the power out, you were essentially like sitting on an airplane for multiple days. So, yeah, except I was laying down on a couch. Yeah, just watching Amadeus. It's a how great you, movie. How are you charging things if you didn't have any power? I set up my truck. I'd set up my truck and I would charge my phone and the iPads and stuff. Because you have to watch Amadeus, so you yeah. need to charge that stuff. Because it's like you get like one viewing of Amadeus off an of iPad. Yeah. So go back, you charge yeah, go back, it. Charge it up. Do to get maybe do a couple drives. Amadeus. Went around, did some driving stuff, charged the phone, listened to some Mozart in the car just to get yourself prepared for the second viewing of Amadeus. Right. And then you go in and then you watch it again. Yeah. And then for repeat the, the cycle. And then you um you just shoot a gun like kind of in this area. So you blow out your hearing on one side. And then that gets you ready for the third viewing of Amadeus. That's uh I think you're mistaking that for Beethoven. Oh, is the Beethoven the... Be- Beethoven's the deaf one. Oh, got it. Well, what can I say? You should watch Amadeus. That's what you should, that's what you should say. Actually, Have you, you seen Amadeus? No, when you mentioned that it was all natural lighting, that really piqued my curiosity. So. It's a beautiful film. I want to watch it. It's very good. Yeah. You guys, have you seen Amadeus? No? Okay. I'm just waiting for you to get real. I'm pretty sure I just got real by saying that I watched Amadeus four times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my fucking God. <laughs> I don't think this is my song, by the way. Oh, damn. Luke is just, just you know. trying to antagonize you. <laughs> he does this, man. It's it's crazy. He was never like this. The first like six months to a year of working, he's with gotten us, too comfortable. It's not even too comfortable. What is that? What the, I can't, I can't. It's, it's distracting me too much. What the hell is that? Whatever you want. To what? Do. No, I mean, like, wh- why? What? What is it? I need to know. Do you, do I've been dancing around the whole time. I keep like I was joking about chantics, and every once in a while, my eyes would dart over real quick like that. Got it. And then, wh- what the hell is that? Why is it there? Do you want the full meta on what it is? Kind of. Okay, the mannequin piece is from the Short King's Anthem music video. Okay. And I'm a when it comes to creative work, I'm a big like hoarder. Okay. So, so I'm like, so oh. like saying all your set pieces and all that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we kept that, and then at some point, someone said maybe we should put some clothes on her. And so that's like a TMG t-shirt. And then the hat and the top uh, are from like a bit we did where we wore a ghillie suit. Okay. So now it just looks like, <laughs> now it's just this fucking humanoid thing. Well, have you seen any new movies lately? I haven't, honestly, because the tour I've just been literally. When is it going to be done? Uh, I know I've brought this up before. May 29th. Yeah, May 29th. That's it. Yeah. That is the end. Yep. No more. I can't say no more. I mean, like, I mean, like for this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No more cheeky things where it's just like, uh oh, I added dates. No. If I see that on my fucking Instagram again, no. 
I'm going to throw myself out a window. No, no, no cheeky eight dates. Especially added. with what me and you got going on. Transition. Uh, huh? Huh? That was slick, dude. Well, guys, girls, whatever you are. Um, if there's any girls listening to this, turn it the fuck off right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having it, actually. <laughs> Uh, on that note, we have an extremely woman-friendly project coming out. It's our new podcast, the Stretch and Fade podcast. Um, I wanted to call it Stretch Marks and Fades, but they got rid of the marks. Yeah, it's just wordy. It's a lot. Yeah, I, yeah, it's a good news. We know, we're, you know, you're used to putting a lot in your mouth, but <clears throat> well, it's true. That's yeah. why, I, why I had the stretch marks. Yeah, not not so much for the rest of us. Um, should we have promoted this at the top? I think it's fine now. I mean. Yeah, the, fuck the, it. The viewers are gone. Yeah. <laughs> the, if, if people if people were able to traverse the Ray Liotta part of this section of this podcast, then I think they're going to be prime candidates for our our podcast. Yeah, the, the Ray Liotta <laughs> discussion was to weed anyone out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If people are like, what the fuck is this? This Ray Liotta bullshit. They turn it off. And other people are like, I'm fascinated. Yeah. Those are the people I want, dude. I'm, now you got me thinking if there's people in the car like, yeah, but fuck Ray Liotta just turning it up. Yeah, shit Revving on their that engines. motherfucker. Yeah. There's a lot of wrecks that probably happened because people got it so excited. <laughs> I, yeah, I fucking hate Ray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, You're like we're driving in, bashing people. They p- Probably people also took up smoking because of this podcast. Yeah, dude. And that's kind of cool, too. Yeah, the sheer stress of having to think about Ray Liotta that much. Just The sheer stress of being like, I need to be like Ray. Yeah. And that's what, uh, if you do end up taking smoking, please go on Twitter and tag me. If you smoking cigarettes. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have a new podcast coming out, and um, here's a little trailer for that. There's a new podcast duo in town. They're large, they're clean, and they're coming to your tiny screen. And here you are, one Coke Zero. You know, uh, a couple birdies told me that you might know where the James Corden sex tape's at. Is that true? Come on, man. Well, I do. He's incredibly dangerous. Dangerous. And if you want that tape, you're gonna have to come with all you got. Well, I'd get of everything to see that monster of a man plow his way through a sex tape. His name is The Rat. Everyone wants that tape. Just know that he is heavily armed and he is incredibly dangerous. 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 Bingo. James Corden sex tape. Go easy on him. Every time. They try me every time. You lose, Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> How about you flip your cute ass out of here and never return? <laughs> Thanks. Oh, goddamn. Oh, he actually did it. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Nice. That man's got good hips. Damn good hips. And his girlfriend's happy. Okay. The sign says no smoking, asshole. Easy. Look what the cat dragged in. Give us a James Corden fuck tape, asshole! I wanna watch it. Fuck you! Who's your fat friend, fam? Hey, hey, hey. It's Mr. Fatty Magoo to you, rat. Yeah, whatever. My name's Stretch. I knew you were coming here for the James Corden sex tape. Right? That's why you're here. Very much so. Yes, yes that's do. why I'm here. This is mine. How big's his dick? None of your fucking business, pizza boy. Don't make us hurt you, rat. Give us the fucking DVD. You're gonna have to fucking kill me to get this. And I'd give it a... Go ahead! 
Lo dijo él. If you're looking for class, then get ready for the Stretch and Fade podcast. Starting this February, just in time for love and confectionaries. This is the last time you mess a stretch and fade. Whoa. 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 Could you have gotten a smaller shirt for me on the set? No. <laughs> I did. I, I know that it's it's nice and silly seeing the big guy in a tight shirt, right? We all laughed. But uh, I actually did, I didn't ask for that. I said, I'm very uncomfortable on set. And Noah was just like, just do it, dude. Yeah. Just do it. You're, you're slowing everything down. Yeah. I'm like, you already stink. Don't be slow as well. Uh, the feed is up. People can go subscribe. Oh yeah, <coughs> uh, go so go look up the the show Stretch and Fade podcast. It's on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts. It's also gonna be here, and it'll be in the TMG Studios app, ad free. You still thinking about it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Yeah, well, you know, I, I want it there. You want to hear? You want this again? <laughs> No, come on. Did you, did you have a good time listening to this one? No, come on. The the four episodes we've had so far genuinely <clears throat> were <laughs> very funny. You say some crazy stuff. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. It's wacky. It is wacky. Is it pretty wacky? Uh, yeah, so tune into the podcast. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, Hunter is not always it's so right. sarcastic and down on himself. Um, there's, he, he smiles sometimes, too. I smile a lot. I've smiled a lot during this show. Yeah. <laughs> have you? I have. Yeah. I've had a great time. Every time I get to come on the ship, I have a great time. Good. Except when people say that I bully Cody the whole time, because I don't. <laughs> you bully everyone. <laughs> no. No, no, no. I like having nice conversations with friends, and that's you what do. I do here. You do. And then they always force me out. Whenever these cameras go, let me tell you something, and I'll be honest about yeah. this. This whole production here, the fucking 45 people in the back you guys got. Yeah. As soon as I'm done, they could not boot me out the fucking door. Oh, yeah. we, don't, we don't touch them. As soon as they're like, hey, what's going on? Bye. As soon as it's done. We, we use a 15-foot pole with a, yeah. Push with, me out like Yeah, that. with a sock on the end of it just so we don't bruise them. And we're like, get out. Get <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, he's got soft white skin. We don't want to leave any black and blue on there. So we just fucking get Gone. I have a big bruise on my thigh. I don't know how I got it. Do you just wake up with them? Maybe. I'm wrestling some demons in my sleep, apparently. My wife keeps waking me up recently because of my sleep apnea. Oh, bro, get a CPAP machine immediately. I need to. I guess it's one of those things where I'm like choking for air. Yeah. <laughs> You can die. Dude. Horrible. She wakes me up. She's like, your snoring's terrible. I'm like, would you just leave me the fuck alone? I'm trying to sleep. Do that kind of thing. And then she recorded me, and it was like brutal. Like, I was like, I'm going to die. Yeah. This is a heart attack waiting to happen. Get a CPAP machine. It's a whole thing, though. You know, like, you know I, hate going to the, you know, I hate going to the doctor. As an overweight man, hate going to the doctor. Yeah, I'll get over it. You know because they always say? They always, they always say this. <laughs> you know what they always say? They say this. They always say, you got a lot of changes to make. Uh, do I? Yeah. Oh, do I, Doc? Yeah. Thanks for the fucking bill, dude. Yeah. And you know, they, they can never just t like give you the stuff there. They have to go to a specialist and all stuff. Who has the time? I'll, I'll hold your hand. I'll hold your fat little hand through this whole process full of cum. I hope you're, I'll hold your cummy fat hand through this process so you get a goddamn CPAP machine. You I ever have to come I want you to be on this earth. I want you to be on this earth. You ever have to come at the doctor? Do I have to? No. Have you ever had like come at the doctor? No, no. Have you? Yeah. For what? Well, check the fertility? You. Yes. Wow. Because when I was 14, an artery went going down to my balls. This is real. An artery going, going down to my testicle got twisted and my, my nuts swelled up. To, I'm not even joking. The size of like a softball. <laughs> it was insane. I showed everybody. Yeah. My buddy showed up. He's like, why are you hobbling around? I, just had I always have basketball shorts on. <laughs> Pop it out real quick. Boom. Looked like a baby's pinky just draped over a basketball. Right. That's what it looked like. <laughs> and I sat there, and it was so painful. I sat there, and I was holding it in my hand. 
kind of like uh, Sauron in Lord of the Rings Two Towers when yeah. he has that fucking ball and he's like, <laughs> yeah, that's how I was. Hold it. And I had to go to, and this is the worst part. I was just old enough to be really self-conscious about your body, your dick size and everything. Yeah. They put me in Children's Mercy Hospital. Okay. All right. Well, so way. here I am laying down just in extreme pain, getting that morphine tap. And then the peach squad comes in, smoking hot doctors. Hey, we just need to look at that. Then they're looking at my tiny little cock, giant balls. Yeah. And I'm like, Ugh. they're poking around, slapping it, doing all kinds of shit. 10 minutes goes by. We're part of the red squad. Another super hot doctor. All kinds of shit. It was a miserable. Right. But anyways, I have like an 8% chance of fertility. So. Wow. They just killed it. Dead. Wow. And you want, the, you want to know the worst part? That was me with my balls. <laughs> that was me. Look, that was me whenever I didn't know the severity of the situation. I was like, look at it. <laughs> my friend's like, oh my God, dude, that's horrifying. I'm like, I know. It actually looked like a monkey's brain. Yeah. And I, was, I, I would hold it. And it I mean, it's, it was insane. Yeah. Because it was so large and lumpy. I mean, it was fucking crazy. You, didn't, yeah. you, could, you, you think skin doesn't stretch. It does. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. But they sat there and... Uh, um, worst part about it, though, is I had ACDC tickets. Couldn't go. Did you write them a letter? I yeah. missed your show because my balls got Yeah, my big. ball was huge. I was in pain. I couldn't <laughs> see it. Hey, rock on, fellas. <laughs> and they're like, wow, this is quite the emotional story. We should get them out for a show. This kid right here's balls swelled up to the size of a baseball. Yeah, get him back on the show. <laughs> He'll never be able That's to come. That's my ACDC impression. Got it. Do an ACDC impression. I can't. Do like back in black. Back in black! I hate to say it! Fah! Sounds just like it. I've never, I've never listened to ACDC. Just do what I do. Fah! Fah! That's, that's, that sounds good. That's good. Do back in black! I hate to say it! I, I can't. I'm glad to be back! I can't do that. Just try it. I can't. Why? What do you mean you can't? I've been real this whole episode. I'm going to be real with you right now. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> What's a... What's a? Uh, I just want you to hear do another impression. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, am I just like a little impression monkey to you? Well, I just oh, that's not what I said. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little Texas two step around that one and say new. No. Did look, you look just these call little, me look, a monkey? Little, little feet. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. I think Hunter just called me a monkey. I'm, I'm ballet dancing around that. I never <laughs> said that. And I just want to hear you do. Give me one. What's one impression you think you can do? Because I know you definitely think you can do one. I actually don't. I think I'm like. Just I can do a, a variety of mid impressions. That's fine. Well, then what's a mid impression you got? Give me what you think like Robert Downey Jr. sounds like. Um, Jarvis, how can I get my dick sucked right now? There you go. I mean, I, I would I would accept that. Okay. I'm just coming at it from this perspective. Like, oh, if I did a cartoon, would he be able to do that? Oh. So why don't you try the ACDC one? You're now you're loosened up. <laughs> so back in black. I had the sags. Been too long. I'm glad to be back. Or do you can do shoot the thrill, why to kill, too many women with too many pills. I think we just got it. I think that was good. Whatever, dude. I think you, you know, got it. I tried to sit there because you know what I was wanting to do is record it. I was going to take it and I was going to record music behind it. Uh. And I'd be like, Noah Miller in ACDC. And I thought that would have <laughs> been a lot of fun for me. <laughs> that would have been a lot of fun for me. What if I send you like a high quality? Can you sing good? Not really. Do uh sing like a Justin Timberlake song. A girl. Can't do that. <laughs> My voice doesn't do that. Okay. <laughs> like you would do a good Johnny Cash. Oh, uh, how's what does Johnny Cash sound like? Kind of like what you sound like naturally. Yeah. Yeah. Play some play some Johnny, and we can play some shit over it. I fell into I a burning ring of fire. Right? See you. You got because the little falsetto mind. there. Oh, this they goddamn song. fucking hurt out of all of all of <laughs> 98-year-old Johnny Cash covering uh what, I think they play this when like they put down kids at Wait, the hold children's on a hold hospital. Hold, 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 hold on a second. <laughs> all right, now pause it. Now do 98-year-old Johnny Cash. To see if I still feel something like that. That's good. Yeah. You don't have a lot of confidence when you're doing it. Though. It's like so this isn't fun. Like I was like I thought that this would be like a like I'm like we're getting ready to bond. Uh, you kind of took that from me because you're not taking it seriously. You're kind of just like that's what it is. It is what it, it is though. Let's see. That's what I'm saying. I can't really sing. Uh, you just did. You just didn't sound too bad. I think. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of like. Yeah, I don't know. 
like what vocal genre I could really The Weeknd? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, right, dude. <laughs> yeah, right. you have to, I think you have to sing from between your eyeballs to sing those like hit his notes. You think? Yeah. You know who I never really liked? Actually, no, not really. That's not fair. There are people that sing way higher pitch than him. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know, I never really dug those musically. Huh. Bruno Mars. <laughs> you hurt Luke's feelings with that? Right. Okay, dude. He's like, Wait, okay. what? Bruno Mars. Shut Mar the fuck up, fat man. Have you heard Grenade? Have you heard Grenade? That last record he did, the soul record, was fun. Yeah. But I all the other stuff, Sonic is all, all the yeah that that was that was just fun. Yeah. But the other stuff, I don't no, care for it. That's just basketball. What was music. the big big song that came out like 2013? <laughs> uh, I'm talking about the huge one. There was grenade. No, was bigger than that. Just the way you are. You know? Nothing is bigger than that. Oh, 24 karat. Distance. Don't believe me? Just watch. Yeah. Yeah. 24 karat. Every single. Is magic. that what it's called? 24 karat? 24 karat magic, yeah. The amount of times I heard my mom listen to that song was unbelievable. <laughs> Bruno's killing it in the Midwest, dude. Oh, man. Kill, kill. That's uh, just the Ed Sheeran market, too. Apparently, I don't yeah, fucking know. I don't. I do not understand how he has that many monthly listeners, bro. Because he's in every bowling alley, every <laughs> grocery store. When you lay yeah. And I can't sweep you off of your feet. Yeah. Right. I like how he says, "And I can't sweep you yeah. off of your feet." Yeah. Now I'm just like I'm telling you, man. People have definitely people have had sex to that music, and they're just like that was a mistake. Yeah, nutting to Ed Sheeran is is an insane vibe. That's a that's a that would be a hard post nut clarity after that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> that? <laughs> Mimi, huh? You're like, no, no, go ahead. It's like a go ahead. it's like a Sing favorite it. dream. <laughs> keep singing it, just, and I'm gonna do something. Go ahead. Uh, and Mimi, huh? Well, keep loving you till eternity. And I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways. Maybe it's a part of a plan. And maybe I'm in love with you every single day. And I just want to tell you I am. And maybe not. Tell me that you love it all. Where are you going? <laughs> is that the end of the episode? We have to cut a lot of that. We're, I think we probably we're probably at thirty minutes in actual record time. No, <laughs> no. You see my latest upload? Uh, no, what happened? You like that? Wow, look at that friend. First, you can't pick me up from the airport. Then you don't even watch Which the one? newest video I did. Let me see. Last one I watched was Velma. I was laughing. Is a Patreon plug. Let me see. Patreon that. push right there. See, I even animated myself. YouTube is killing me. YouTube is killing me. Good, oh. good title for a video, dude. <laughs> Susan was like, "No." <laughs> well, I, I saw your the teasing of the Susan uh, images. So yeah, actually, play a little bit of it just because the uh, the first part you have to be creative of ways that you can get around doing like titties and pussy and ass and stuff like that. Yeah. So in this one, you sit there, and when she comes up, it's like her titties little monetization can canister. So see, so you sit there, and now she's able to grab her titty off. That's fun. Smart. Isn't that fun? There's Mr. Beast. He gets he gets first pickings. Let this oh, go all the way. Auto. All right, that's it. We don't no, no, no. Let it go. Let it go. No, no, no. Actually, if anything, only go skip a little ahead to the Sailor Moon transformation part. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, like right there. The power. The support. The freedom. Oh my God, dude. Holy shit, childhood flashbacks right now. This is hysterical, brother. Watch this out. <laughs> we don't need you anymore. My creations, they can live off the land. No, no, this is not acceptable. You must confide by my rules. How lovely is that, dude? It's beautiful. Isn't that fun? Yeah, Look at those thighs, dude. Damn. <laughs> that's like you in real life. That's why I drew it like that. Just as chunky. That's true. I like Cottage it. cheese, dude. <laughs> Man, my ass is unpleasant. I, I do need to make some changes. <laughs> 
I'm still, yeah, you want me to be real, dude? You really need to get a fucking CPAP machine. Okay. And I'm not going to let mom. you live that down. Whatever, mom. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, it's not good. When, <laughs> hey, hey yeah. come on, man. Yeah, no. when you die from fucking sleep apnea, I'm going to go to your funeral and be like, if only Hunter had Chantix to save him. I will. I'm going to get it. Actually, I'm just going to throw a pack of Chantix in your fucking casket and be like, that. take that shit with you. I would love that. <laughs> I hope my f- coffin is full of Jack Daniels and Chantix. Here, here you are requesting people to be real, and you want me to be real about yourself. I, I feel like I'm very real. I feel like it's very, I could lie to you and say, dude, I'm going. I'm going to the doctor, dude. Yeah. I, I said, you know what I say? It's just a lot of hassle. I doubt I'll make it. <laughs> So's dying. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. If it happens, it's going to happen. So death doesn't scare you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know what's the worst is whenever you're sitting there, it's like th- like two in the morning. Yeah. And that wave of reality hits in. Yeah. It's not the worst. The late night, I call them the late night spooks. You sit yeah. there and you're like, <sighs> yeah. You kind of just imagine existence just blank and void. And you're like, yeah. <gasps> and I sit there and I go on TikTok. Yeah. That completely distracts you. So you're fine again. Yeah. So that's like, that's the routine you have to do. Mm-hmm. But definitely, oh, death is going to suck. That's why I wish I was like a very devout religious person. So you would go get a CPAP machine? <laughs> no, I mean, like, I'm oh, saying, so you like, would no. you would welcome it? You'd be like, "Fuck that CPAP machine! I'm going to the land." No, no, I'm not. Well, I'm just saying, like, I am. I mean, I've you know, I've made the choices to be look this way. Yeah, you know, it's just like I imagine I'll probably just let it roll. You, you definitely let it roll. Let it roll, Vegas, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what? Come on, man, Ryan. I don't like you looking at me, dude. <laughs> Next time we sit in here, dude, I don't want you sitting here. All right. Cause you, he's like a dad, yeah. isn't he? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You just yeah. turned forty, didn't you? Fuck you, man. <laughs> Thirty-five. <laughs> basically forty. Five. You're basically dead, dude. Yeah. You on Chantix yet? No. Yeah. You're basically Ray Liotta, man. You just turned thirty-five. <laughs> Next time I show up, he's gonna he's gonna be wearing eyeliner, <laughs> just like Ray. Uh, and I'll say that just like Ray. From afar, just like Ray. Dude, next time we next time we do recording, we should wear some eyeliner for Ray. I'm down. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, and we, we should a, we and we should get lot. just get a bunch of ch- we'll get a bunch of chantix and put it on the table. We have a bunch of we got one. Speaking of guests and favorite guests and bad guests, we got a guest in mind for stretch and fade. And you know, this is a preemptive tease, but oh god, we should just say it. I I want to blast it out there. If we blast it out there, then th- there's better chances. No, I, I no no. I think I think it's better just bro. No. I'm, you got to blast it. No, I don't think you have to. Because I, I want to talk about that. I don't know, because I think you save it. I genuinely think you save it. Unfortunate. I don't even know who it is. He hasn't talked to you about it. Would you ever talk to this man about anything? <laughs> I do, actually. Well, I, you need to talk to him more, because this is, I've brought this up. I already give him a lot. Since day two. I already give him a lot. I try to give it, like, just when tell it's... tell the viewers, let's end the episode just saying who is our guest, number one guest that we want. We can't tell him. But if they want to find out, Subscribe to the feed, and you will see. What does that mean? Subscribe to the feed, Aren't like they, like if that? on Spotify or like the RSS oh, feed. Yeah, yeah. The link will be in the description. Yes, the link will be in the description. So click it. Um, and we're off to the bonus. But thank you all for to the general public for listening to this episode. Chantix, if you could just email me. Yeah, I would love a sponsorship. Yeah, I will be your new Ray Liotta. Yeah. All right, now That's we're gonna go to the bone zone, and we're gonna talk about I don't know. Maybe more dead people, or I'd love to keep the conversation rolling of Chantix. If I'm, keep the keep the Ray Ball rolling, <laughs> the Ray Ball. <laughs> All right, everybody, we'll see you in the bonus. This week on the bonus, I thought House of Dragon got really good though. A lot of cousin fucking. Not enough cousin fucking. I was expecting cousin fucking left and right. What I would not give to see a fuck scene with donkey and dragon can you imagine that little donkey on that big dragon strong nut powerful nut you're shredded dude stop it you look amazing stop this now maybe i will fucking kiss him dude what would you do if i sat there and one day you're walking through your halls and i just stop you with my hand on the wall and i try to go for it i don't think i have a choice watch the full episode by signing up for a membership at (laughs) tmgstudios.tv